Welcome back to Marvel Media Podcast, where we talk about all things media, especially Marvel. I'm Blake, and today it's just me and Josh. Yeah, so welcome everybody, and this will be our spoiler-free review of Doctor Strange, because Alex is a beta and he didn't watch it yet, so that's why it's just us two. So Blake, I say you should kick it off. Let me hear what you think so far of what you've seen. So... Obviously, we're coming off pretty fresh off the movie, um, so there's going to obviously be some recency bias and stuff, but this is the spoiler-free one, so we won't be too much in depth, but overall, I, I really enjoyed the movie. I thought um, we talked about it in our pre-Doctor Strange video, some of our kind of concerns, and in that we mentioned the runtime was a little shorter than we were expecting, as well as um, there were some beliefs that Sam Raimi didn't get as much of his creative controls we thought he might get as there's reshoots and stuff but I feel like after seeing the movie the movie was paced really well that even though it was like two hours five or ten minutes it didn't feel like that and not in a bad way like I didn't feel like it was I didn't feel like it dragged on I didn't feel like it was too short like I I felt the pacing was excellent and I didn't feel that it was a shorter movie um as well as you definitely could tell this was a Sam Raimi directed movie his control was definitely not given up and I can say safely this is the darkest I would say um MCU project that we have had to date and when it first came out there was or like the I don't remember what it was but like kind of like the movie theater clip of it it said it's genre one of the things was horror and some people were like is that right and I there definitely are some elements in this that they met that they I think it's PG-13. It has to be PG-13. It's PG-13. Um, yeah, I was going to say, it's not PG. It had to be 13. But, um, yeah, I can definitely see that there might be some younger kids that see this movie, especially in theaters, that they might be uh, a little scared from some of the parts that happened. It was <laughs> it was good. It, I, I really enjoyed it. But, um, yeah, what were your kind of thoughts? Okay, so for the most part, I agree with what you have to say. For me, uh, I know I came out of this movie, the first 30 minutes of the film I thought was horribly written, especially the lines. Um, I cringed too many times at the beginning to the point where I was like, oh my God, this movie is gonna flop. We're gonna have another Age of Ultron type of bit where next movies are gonna try to have to fix it to make it seem better. So I definitely was worried. And then it made a strong comeback. Uh, The fight scenes, Honestly, we're probably the best uh, we got really in Marvel, in my opinion, since at least Endgame, you know, with the final cap scene. But it was beautiful. So you're definitely going to enjoy that part. I think coming out of this movie, you really got, I felt satisfied. I got what I wanted. But I will say the two hour runtime, in my opinion, did make like character arcs and development in the movie. It did struggle at, at bits and made certain parts that they were definitely trying to seem impactful, not as much of an impact as they were attending because of the runtime. So some bits did feel rush, but the overall pacing, like Blake said, did seem like it was perfectly fine. Um, obviously did not feel like it was running too long too. Um, but overall, um, I do think some bits, yeah, could have been done better. But like I said, I mean, I come out of this, and I felt satisfied with what I got. Um, and I honestly, for me, I gave like the overall rating, I would say this is like an 8.5 out of 10. I think if there wasn't some of those cringy dialogues, <coughs> excuse me, cringy dialogues, which we'll be able to kind of get into really in our spoiler review, um, I think the movie would have benefited more. But I mean, if you're coming out of this not satisfied, I don't know how how you're not satisfied with what you got, honestly. Uh, I will say at some points, though, it did feel like the movie relied heavily on cameos. So I'm interested to see how I feel about the movie if I watch it again and I don't have kind of that shock factor going into it. But I mean, you should you're going to be satisfied. You should be satisfied if you are invested with all the shows, watching all the movies up to this point. There's no reason why you should come out of this saying that sucks. Right. Absolutely. It's, I mean, like you said, I, I, I mean, personally, I know you said it and we saw it with a couple other people and some people kind of mentioned they thought there was some kind of cheesy or corny dialogue. 
I personally I don't really know what you guys are talking about and I even tried to ask like can you guys give me an example because I, I personally I didn't feel that like I, I was in the whole time and I really I can't really even think of a single time where I was like kind of out of it from the dialogue like I was in the whole time I can but but I can't mention right. it without right. you know spoiling but there, there, it was to the point where like I'm only bringing it up because it took me out yeah I never had that it would be like okay I'm invested in these scenes I had it multiple no, times I never had that but it it seemed like there was a huge shift though I mean like it straight up like I said it, there's like that 30 minute run time and then things heated up got serious obviously we're getting towards the climax of the movie but and the, the, like the writing got way better as the movie went on so that's why I don't get why it was so bad at that beginning of the part especially because you know this is the start of the movie you know first impressions is where you get the audience hooked in so but overall I mean the overall the, the pres the premise of the movie was meant right and you should be happy with what you got yeah I mean I I would say I probably that? rank it somewhere on like a nine nine one somewhere in that range um i really enjoyed it i thought um in terms of like acting and stuff i thought elizabeth olsen was phenomenal in this movie she like we talked about she definitely got a pretty good amount of screen time and every time she was on the screen she was phenomenal um so i mean benedict cumberbatch i thought he was he was solid i mean I'm trying to think who else really had like a big I know there's some people who didn't really like the actress who played American Chavez. I don't remember how to pronounce her name. Yeah, I had beef with her. Yeah, and I've seen... I looked on, yeah, like, Twitter and sure stuff, did. and I saw there were some people. Personally, I didn't think... I I did feel like she was the only one that I maybe, at times, was a little bit like, eh, that was a little lackluster, but, I mean, she is a younger actress. It felt like the classic thing of where an adult is talking to a teenager, and they, they're talking to them like they're dumb, and then, like... It's just, it's just annoying. It's like, come on, she's a teenager. She's not that stupid. And so it definitely affected the dialogue at that point. And, but overall, yeah, the acting, um, to, from the midpoint to the end, I think was solid. <laughs> <laughs> but if you compared this movie, like this, this is a sequel to Dr. Strange. Um, if it, it beats the first, I, so I, I definitely for sure. Agree. Uh, the only thing I think the first Doctor Strange got on is um, really the writing and the character development, but in terms of every other aspect of a movie, this sequel is a solid sequel to it, uh, which we'll obviously dig in more when we do do our spoiler review, which will probably be next week. So yeah, I mean, I like you said, I I think. If you if you know what you're going into with this movie of you should be expecting it's Sam Raimi directing you should be expecting a little bit more of a darker horror type feel um, it definitely covers that along with uh, character arc I feel like there are a couple people probably off the top of my head there's three main ones that I would say that they definitely I definitely like better at the end of this movie. Um, or it just grew in the movie, but yeah, I thought, like you said, I, I've seen some people talk about it was a bad movie and stuff. Yeah, I've seen I, a lot of people. I hating don't know what it. you were so expect. Like I don't, I don't know how you can say that. Um, I like I said, I, I gave it somewhere around like a nine out of ten. So I really enjoyed it. I definitely am looking forward to rewatching it at some point in the future um, to see how you know on second view what my thoughts are of it. And like we said, we're what about 12 ish a little over 12 hours out of the movie so there's a little bit obviously yeah. recency bias of us being either excited for the marvel or whatever um yeah i mean i thought this movie was was really good i was happy with it it it's solid you should be happy simple as that yeah really. <laughs> i mean it definitely like we said yeah. our, our two biggest worries were the runtime as well as not knowing the creative control sam raimi had or lost or whatever or, it, it, it definitely you know those worries are completely gone for me it, it was way better than in those two things way better than i was thinking it might be all right guys well we will be posting our spoiler review at least next week aiming for around monday when alex actually watches it but that will be us peace